Not every buffer is the same, but they all require weed management. In this video, we will discuss mulching as one method of dealing with weeds in a riparian buffer. Effectively controlling weed competition allows the highest possible tree growth rates in riparian buffers. Managing weeds is also proven to reduce rodent damage, which is one of the leading causes of reforestation project failures. The most successful method for weed control is spraying herbicides. This requires less time commitment and is effective at eliminating certain invasive species within your buffer area. One setback to spraying herbicides is that you need the proper equipment and you may need a permit. Proper techniques for applying herbicides are important to prevent accidental damage, mortality to your trees, and hazardous runoff to nearby waterways. You may also choose to manage your buffer without herbicides. Mulching is one alternative for slowing the growth of weeds. Mulches can also help to increase soil temperatures to extend the growing season in early spring and late fall. There are several types of mulch that can be used within a buffer. These include natural materials such as wood chips, straw, grass clippings, or leaves, sheet mulches such as cardboard or black plastic, and even gravel mulch. The mulch that needs the most maintenance is natural material mulch. You will need to constantly monitor weed growth and hand pull or mow weeds more often than you would with herbicide application. To sufficiently reduce weeds during the establishment period, natural mulches need to be replaced frequently, sometimes more than once a year. They are also likely to wash away in flood events. If you aren't using tree tubes and mulching right up to the tree's trunk, Use caution with natural mulch materials. Do not mound the mulch against the trunk. This causes bark rot and will kill the tree. Certain types of natural mulch, like straw and grass clippings, can also contain seeds of invasive weeds, which can add to your weed problem instead of helping reduce them. Stone mulches are one of the best mulch choices for buffers because stones are more resistant to washing away, help stabilize the stakes in the event of flooding, and limit the potential for pests, such as voles, to burrow through the mulch and into the tree tube for habitat. Research has shown that using 2A modified stone is the most effective. Spread this in a one to two foot diameter around the tree tube. A five gallon bucket filled two thirds full per tree is a good quantity and probably as much as you'll be willing to carry at a time. You should still monitor your stone mulch for any excess weed growth, rodent damage, and sediment depositing over your rocks and creating new weed habitat. Use caution with your mower while maneuvering around stone piles as well. Sheet mulches like plastic and cardboard can make good impenetrable barriers against weeds. There are also rubber mats, usually one to two feet in diameter, that can be placed around the base of trees. While these may be effective at controlling weeds, this can be an expensive mulching option. Plastic and rubber are non-natural materials that will need to be properly removed and disposed of after the buffer establishment period. These materials could potentially be washed away during heavy flooding. They can also prevent or inhibit the flow of oxygen and water reaching your tree's root systems. Whichever mulch you choose, additional weed management activities will be necessary. Mowing, hand pooling, and herbicide application can all help you manage your weeds. If you have additional questions about riparian buffer maintenance, or you are interested in learning more, you can find a full series of videos and fact sheets on the Penn State Extension website. Just search for Growing Great Buffers.